welcome to another weekly reading vlog so it is monday the oh my god what date is it the 27th yes it's the 27th oh my gosh nobody panic oh my god look at these babies they're so adorable anyway um my tbr for this week i have four books on my tbr for this week and i think i can do it last week i read five books the week before that i read six books Four books is doable, right? So the first book I'm going to be starting today is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and this is the exclusive collector's edition that I got in the mail last week and I'm so excited to read this! And I was originally reading this for the Darker Shade of read-alongs that was happening but I totally missed the live show. The live show happened yesterday and I hadn't read the book. But that's okay, we'll read it this week and in a minute I'll go over um, the Newt's challenges that I plan on completing this week because I'm doing the Newt, ma Newt Magical Readathon this month. So yeah, I'm reading this book and then I also want to read Vicious by V.E. Schwab because the second book comes out in September so I want to be prepared and this is the UK exclusive collector's edition and it's absolutely beautiful so I figured it's about time that I read this book and then I also want to read The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren Janus because it completes one of the Newt's challenges and this is a really short thrilling book that everyone says is like super fast paced and thrilling and you can't put it down. Hopefully I'll just like pick this up and read it in a sitting one day. So there's that one and then the fourth book I'm actually expecting in the mail and that is The Governess Game by Tessa Dare and it's the second book in the Girl Meets Duke series and I love Tessa Dare so much she's my favorite historical romance author and this is her newest book it comes out tomorrow I'm pretty sure so I'm expecting that in the mail so those are the four books that I am planning on reading so let's go over the challenges that they will be completing I really love you hi hi <laughs> Okay, so The Governess Game will get me my Outstanding and Arithmancy by reading not the first book of a series, because it's the second book. Then to get my Outstanding in History of Magic, I need to read a book at least 400 pages long, planning on reading Vicious for that challenge. And then down here for Defense Against the Dark Arts, to get an Exceeds Expectations, I need to read a foiled book, which will be The Loneliest Girl in the Universe. And then for The Outstanding, has Dark in the title, Obviously I'm going to read A Darker Shade of Magic. I think that's all the books I'll be able to read. And then Saturday and Sunday is actually the first two days in September. Yikes! When did that happen? So the plan for today. I am editing my weekly reading vlog for last week so I'm just finishing up doing that and then I'll upload that and cook some lunch. I think I'm going to cook Vegemite scrolls if you watched the weekly reading vlog that I'm editing right now. Oh, I'm obsessed with Vegemite scrolls at the moment. I'll show you how to make them in a second if you're interested and then I need to go out and run some errands I need to return some library books I need to go to Officeworks to buy printer ink I need to send some Depop packages I need to buy a couple of things from the grocery store so I just have a couple of things to do and then when I get home I want to film my two videos that are going up this week so I want to film my September TBR and my bullet journal setup for September so it's a pretty jam-packed day full of stuff but I'm excited and then hopefully at some stage today I will be able to read some of A Darker Shade of Magic. So let's go make Vegemite scrolls. First you need to preheat the oven. I usually go like 175-ish, 180. Hi! Okay. So first things first, you need an oven tray. And then you need some baking paper. I'm just gonna put that on the tray. Hi. Then you're gonna get a sheet of puff pastry. And I just wanna say, I hated Vegemite until about a month ago. Like, Vegemite is so disgusting. But then I realized if you know the right amount to put and if you mix it with butter, it's delicious. So if you don't know what Vegemite is, it is like this iconic Australian spread and it is so like sour. It has like the strongest flavor ever. Hang on, you're like really crooked. Yeah, it's really sour. It has like the strongest flavor ever. It's an acquired taste. Um, but yeah, I usually hate it, but I'm obsessed with putting it on Vegemite scrolls because like it just tastes so good if you know the right amount to put on with butter. So anyway, here's my puff pastry sheet. 
So I'm just going to put that on my baking paper. And then you're going to get some butter. I use Nutilex. It's like a vegan butter, but it is so good and so easy to spread. So you're just going to spread it on. Like this. It's a lot easier to do when the puff pastry is frozen. Then you're going to get your Vegemite. And you're not going to take too much. And then you're gonna sort of start spreading it but sort of like scrape the butter with it if that makes any sense and then it sort of becomes like lighter in color yeah so the more you sort of scrape the butter and then mix it it becomes like this light brown color and it's way more delicious and you don't want to put too much because if you put too much Vegemite it's going to taste disgusting okay there we go then you get some cheese I've got just this tasty cheese and you're gonna get a grater and you're just gonna grate some cheese on there And you're just going to sort of like spread it evenly over the pastry sheet. And then you're going to eat some of the cheese because it's delicious. Once it's defrosted, you're going to actually roll it. So you're just going to roll it like that. Then you're going to get a knife and you're just going to cut it into strips. And just sort of place them on the baking sheet. You can also make like pizza scrolls, like with pizza sauce, um, ham and cheese, and it's also really good. And then you're just gonna put them in the oven for like 10 minutes. And now we wait. Look at this. <laughs> Is it nice in the sun? I bet it is. Oh shoot, my washing's done. Gotta hang that out. Oh yeah. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. So I'm gonna have some with some vegetables for lunch because, you know, health. Mm-mm. From running all my errands and it's already 2 30 in the afternoon i took so long so i'm just about to finally upload my reading vlog because it was still exporting when i left and i returned some books to the library and i was like okay april now you're not gonna borrow any library books because we all know you never read them and then i ended up walking out with two books because who am i really Oh, sorry Luna. So I ended up walking out with this savage song because like, I don't know. <laughs> and Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson because everyone says this is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm trash and I got those. But when I got home, I had this waiting for me and I think this is my pre-order for the governess game which was actually paid for by my friend Kirsty because I sent her my second copy of My Plain Jane so we did kind of a swap. And you would have just seen. I saw the Australian edition of the governess game at the shops and I was like, oh my god! And I was like, restrain yourself, April. Restrain yourself, you are already getting a copy. So, I think that's what this is. Wow, that was good. So, yes it is. 
here it is so this is the like us um, mass market paperback version and i told kirsty to get me this one because this one was only ten dollars whereas the other one was like 15. so i still think this cover is really cute i think she is so pretty but yeah i'm so excited so thank you so much kirsty for paying for this pre-order for me you are the best I'm so dang excited. Mm, smells good. And I guess I'm gonna eat the remainder of my Vegemite scrolls that I didn't eat for lunch because they're tasty. Hi, can I help you? My goodness. Mm, they're so delicious, even cold. <laughs> love it when you're folding washing and then you realize that you brought a spider inside it's all right he's just a little guy honestly we're pretty used to spiders living in australia even though we live in the city um there are a ton of golden orb spiders in the garden and stuff i had a huge one living on my front steps and i'd just walk by it every day and be like hey man you know you just that's what you do when you live here hey fam so hi luna <laughs> So it's a little later on in the day on Tuesday and I just got a really exciting package and this is a new book subscription box. So they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to check it out and show you guys and I was like yes. So here it is. It's called Creative Inspirations. I believe this is an Australian book box and I will leave all of the information for this box down in the comments so you can check them out. I have no idea what's in here. I have no I, 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 I don't know what to expect. Um, so I guess we're just going to find out together. Okay, so let's open it. Luna is still just sitting there like a human. <laughs> what are you doing? <gasps> wow. Okay, so this is what I see when I open it. Everything is wrapped in tissue paper. And they wrote me a little note. They said, Dear April, thank you so much for agreeing to review our first boxes. We hope you like them and can't wait to hear your thoughts. Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I'm so excited. So this is just a little media kit. So it has all of their links and everything, which I will leave in the description. And it just um, shows you who created the box and just some more information about creative inspirations. Okay. Oh my gosh. And it's sealed with a little sticker. This looks fancy. Okay. So we have a sheet that has everything that's in the box on it. So I don't want to really look at that yet. But the first thing I see, oh my god, that's so cute. We have this bookmark with a like sand timer on it. And it has this little, um, what do you call these? I don't know. But it's really pretty. It has a little bead on it. And on the back, it has a place for you to write a book review. Which I've never seen that before. So that is really 
creative. This is a really pretty bookmark. I'm definitely going to use it. Then we have this navy blue notebook and it says this is to write down all of your theories, adventures and scientific calculations. So it has a little logo on the back and it is just a blank notebook. I'm obsessed with notebooks. I use notebooks all the time. So including a notebook in a book box will always be good for me. And to go along with that, we have this gorgeous pen. It's got these crystals in it. It's so pretty. And it has a stylus on the end. So I guess that goes perfectly with the notebook. And this is really pretty. It kind of reminds me of Strange the Dreamer. Just maybe because it's blue and sparkly. I don't know. <laughs> then we have this gorgeous little like galaxy box. It says only for you, sweet day, best wishes for a lifetime of love and happiness. Um, let's just open this. I don't know what's in here. Oh my god. <gasps> it's a watch. Oh my gosh, and it's so cool. It says so many books, so little time. I love this and it's got like this faux leather strap. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, my expectations are already like blown out of the water already. Like this is really good. Like I didn't know what to expect because this is their first box, but so far, really good. Next we have this little blue pouch. No. Oh my gosh. It's a time turner necklace. So it has real sand in it and it spins and it's really good quality. Oh my gosh, I really love this. <sighs> Let's put it on. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. Okay, this box gets 10 out of 10. Alrighty. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, next we have this absolutely stunning Doctor Who artwork. This artwork is done by Ivasa Brakova and it's so beautiful and it already comes like on this hard cardboard with like this frame around it so it's all ready to be framed or you can just put it up like this. This is absolutely stunning. Oh my god. And guys, the book came in a book sleeve and this is made by one of the creative inspirations team members and this is the last thing that's in the box so the book is inside and guys this is such good quality it's so soft oh my god the inside is like velvety or like silky and it is like really well padded and it's a really good size guys i'm shook okay so the book of the month is oh my god this is so pretty this is called the psychology of time travel by Kate Maskerenhas. Guys, this cover is so beautiful. So it says, 1967, four female scientists invent a time travel machine. They are on the cusp of fame, but then one of them suffers a breakdown and puts the whole project in peril. 2017, Ruby knows her Granny Bee was one of the four, but they never talk about her past until they receive a message from the near future reporting the mysterious death of an elderly lady. 2018. When Odette found the body, she went into shock, but after the inquest fails to find any answers, she is frustrated. Who is this dead woman that haunts her dreams, and why is everyone trying to cover up her murder? <gasps> it sounds amazing. So this is the book for the all readers box, the all genres readers box. So I'm pretty sure they also have a young adult box, but I of course will leave all of their information down in the description. I'm honestly blown away. I didn't know what to expect, but this was honestly incredible. I mean, we got the notebook, the bookmark, the gorgeous pen, this so many books, so little time watch, the time turner necklace, which is so gorgeous, and this art print, and the book sleeve. With the book, like, this is amazing. If you live in Australia, you need to check out this book box, okay? This is the first box boxes they've ever sent out. So I'm one of the first people to receive one and I'm so incredibly grateful to them. So please guys go and check them out. Even if you don't live in Australia, I'm sure they will have shipping options worldwide. And yeah, thank you so much to them. This is awesome. I'm so excited right now. Okay, so with that out of the way, I guess it's time to update you on my reading. I started reading A Darker Shade of Magic yesterday. I didn't get much reading done because I was really busy, but I reached part three 
of the book, which is page 61. So I guess I made it a little dent in it, but this book is like 400 pages or something. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, it's heaps of fun. I really love the concept. I'm really enjoying the characters so far. And I can't wait to see where this goes. So yeah, that's it for now. And I will check in with you soon. So I just got two more packages in the mail. I don't know. It's just package galore at the moment. Um, one of them is not book related. But I'm surprised it came so quickly. If it's what I think it is. So I'll show you what it is anyway. <gasps> oh! Never mind! Oh my gosh, this is book related, I guess. So I bought a little like pen stand that I'm going to turn into a wand stand on my bookshelves. Um, I got this idea from Book Roast. I will leave her DIY video for it up the top. And it becomes a little thing. And then you've got a little stand and I'm gonna put my wands in it. Ooh, how exciting! I did get two, but I'm missing one of the um connectors oh well so that's the first package and then this second package is from text publishing australia i have no idea what this is so let's find out oh i was not expecting this this is someday by david levithan which is the sequel to every day which i read a couple of years ago and i remember loving it this is a lot thicker than that book though when does this come out this comes out on the first of october in australia cool thank you text publishing i was not expecting it yay okay i gotta go film and edit and do other stuff so i'll catch up with you guys later guys it looks so cool <laughs> love it love it love it love it <laughs> Hello. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Look at that cheeky face. <laughs> wow. Keep going. Keep going. Is it so fun? Is it so fun? Woohoo! Good morning, so it is now Thursday. Yesterday, as you saw, I had a babysitting emergency. So I had to babysit my nephew. He's so cute. But yeah, I've been busier than I anticipated this week. I have an assignment to do today and I have to go into uni later. But yesterday, on my way to my sister's house, I started listening to To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Um, I read this book for the first time in 2014, so I didn't really remember much. But after watching the movie twice, I love the movie so much. I decided I wanted to reread them and I ordered the hardcover box set, but it's not arriving for another few weeks. But the audiobooks were unscribed, so I've just been listening to the first book. I'm like a quarter of the way through it so far, and I love it so much. Oh my gosh. And I haven't made that much more progress in A Darker Shade of Magic. I'm on page 105, so I'm also a quarter of the way through this. But I don't know, like, when I actually do pick it up and start reading, I love it. But I just, I'm struggling to actually pick it up. I don't know why. I also really have to edit a video, and it's going to take me quite a while to edit. And I just have stuff to do, you know, which is annoying. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all the books that I wanted to finish this week. Plus, I realized that because I started the Newt's, readathon on the 30th of July. Technically I should finish reading books for the newts on the 30th of August, which is today. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, should I just extend my newts throughout the rest of the week? 
Should I just cheat a little bit? I don't know. Anyway, we'll see how we go. I want to at least finish one book today. That's my goal. So I need to be honest with you guys about something. These last, like this is like the third day. I have felt so anxious. It's hot. And I think it's because of a few things. So you guys know I'm doing my internship in October and November. And my supervising teacher for that sent me a text the other day saying, hey, we're having a year level planning meeting. Um, so, you know, here's when it's happening. And it's actually happening quite soon, the 13th of September. Or was it 13th or the 17th? I don't know. That happened. And then on the same day, I got results back from my first assignment of the semester. And I didn't do as well as I thought I would. I still passed, but like, I don't know. And then I guess just like realizing that time is going so quickly and my internship is not as far away as I thought it was. And then for some reason, like my anxiety has just been through the roof the last three days, especially today. Like this morning, I have just felt so anxious. It's so annoying. I'm just hoping that it'll go away and that I can just go back to normal because relapsing right now is not an option. <laughs> it's just not an option. I don't know, I just like, I've always been quite transparent about my anxiety. So I feel like I just, I needed to tell you what's been going on because it's been affecting my life. And I guess it's been also affecting my reading. I haven't been reading as much. I've just been like watching YouTube all day, every day, just like lying in bed. Hi. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Anyway, reading wise, I'm like 200 pages into A Darker Shade of Magic. And I I actually think this will be the last book that I read for the Newt's Magical Readathon. I've decided that technically I was supposed to stop reading yesterday for the Newt's. I'm going to just extend it to today because it's the last day of the month. So I'm cheating, but not too much. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to finish this today. And instead of having this as my outstanding grade for Defense Against the Dark Arts, I will put this as my outstanding grade for History of Magic because I haven't completed the challenge for Exceeds Expectations in Defense Against the Dark Arts, so it's impossible for me to use this book for Defense Against the Dark Arts. I mean, which is good because I really wanted to get an outstanding in History of Magic anyway because I feel like that would be my favorite and main subject and the plan for today is self-care i'm just going to relax as much as i can i'm going to read i'm going to hang out with my animals maybe sit out in the sun for a bit just get some fresh air eat some good healthy food and just hope that i feel better next week Okay, so it is Sunday afternoon and I'm going to end the reading vlog here. So I'm feeling a little bit better, which is always nice. I think I'll be okay. I still have that like feeling in my stomach, but you know, we just got to push through fam. But anyway, I'm here to wrap up. Sorry, the camera is moving because it's on my bed and my dog is also on my bed. <laughs> Calm down, Luna. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wrap up what I read and what I got this week and yeah because I haven't actually talked to you about the two books that I actually managed to finish this week. The first one is A Darker Shade of Magic. I did end up finishing this in time for my newts which is fantastic so I'm about to film my newts readathon wrap up or my August wrap up and I ended up giving this like a 3.5 stars which is kind of disappointing but I, I really loved the concept I just had issues with it. My main issues being the romance was just so unnecessary and so forced and I actually wish that the main character and Prince Rai had a thing that would have been great yeah so the romance was just just unbelievable to start off with like it why was that even there and also like I enjoyed this book while I was reading it but when I put it down I really struggled to force myself to pick it back up and I don't know why I just wasn't that like engrossed in it I guess but yeah I am going to continue on with the series because I've heard it only gets better and that the third book is amazing so I will be continuing but I'm going to be getting the next two books out from my library like I, I really liked it but I just I 
can't bring myself to give it like a four or a five stars. So I read that and today I actually finished my, no, yesterday I actually finished my reread of To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and I gave it five stars. Oh my gosh, the first time I read this I gave it a four stars. Then over a couple of years looking back on it I was like, eh, it wasn't that good so I lowered it to a three. Rereading it this time, this book is a literal masterpiece. I gave it five stars. I'm obsessed. I started listening to the second book this morning and I'm so excited for my physical copies to arrive and I'm just so excited to own these books and have them for my future children because my children will be half Korean and they'll be able to read and love these books and uh, I just have so many feelings about them. I just, I loved it so much much. But anywho, moving on to the books that I acquired, I got two books out from the library this week. So I got This Savage Song and Truly Devious. And then I got The Governess Game by Tessa Dare and this was pre-ordered for me by my friend Kirsty. So thank you Kirsty. I didn't get around to it this week but I'm hoping to get around to it this month. And then from Text Publishing, I was sent Someday by David Levithan, which is the sequel to Every Day. So thank you so much to them. And then in the Creative Inspirations book box, I was sent The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate, last name that I struggle to pronounce. But anyway, there it is. Ha. Huh. So yeah, I didn't pay for any books this week and I'm really happy with what I read even though I didn't read as much as I wanted to. That's okay. But yeah, that is it for this week's reading vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in next week's. Goodbye!